Hey guys! So, last week in my most recent video, I asked you all if you would be interested in a video comparing life in high school versus life in college, and a ton of you responded in the comments saying that's something you would definitely want to see from me, and so here I am filming it for you all. Um, if you are new to my channel, then just wanted to let you know I am currently a freshman in college. I am about to finish up my first semester. This week is actually my last full week of classes, and next week my finals begin, which is a little scary. Um, and so I've really gotten used to the college life, and it's something that I really, really love. The first thing I really do like is the fact that you spend a lot less time in class. Um, in high school, I spent maybe like nine to four. And I know some people had school from like eight to five, eight to two, nine to two, two. etc. But in college, like today is Wednesday, I had class from nine to nine fifty, ten to ten fifty, and then I'm done for the day. Sometimes I'll have a really large block of time to do work. The next thing is that the duration of classes vary a lot in college. I have classes that are 50 minutes long all the way up to three hours long, depending on how often they meet per week. But in high school, I always had the same block length for each of my classes. They were all 90 minutes long without fail, every single one. Um, another thing in college is that you have way fewer exams, but each exam requires a lot more hard work because each is weighted so heavily on your grade. I have a class where I only have two exams and each one matters a lot because that's a majority of my grade, but in high school you have lots of tests and lots of busy work that sort of function as a grade cushion because you tend to be able to slack off a little bit on one test and still get a great grade for the entire year or for the entire class but you can't get away with anything like that in college. The next thing is kind of obvious but you have way more freedom in college. With that freedom of course comes a lot more responsibility. Um, in high school you had more obligations and less accountability because you were forced to go to school by either your parents or by law and you were forced to go and do different things but in college you don't have that same condition and you're able to sort of do whatever you can decide whether you want to go to class or if you want to work out or if you want to um, go sleep longer, etc. Another difference between high school and college is that in college I found I had much greater power with scheduling out my life. Not only did I get to pick the subjects that I wanted to study, but I also got to choose what time, what professor, and what building my class would be in if there were multiple sections of that class. In high school I picked from a list of courses that I was interested in, and the administration of my high school would sort of just place us in the schedule within those two four block days and that would be it no questions asked in college i also found i had much more like diminished alone time um in high school i was able to come back home be sort of alone and have my own time but even when i come home in college i am with my roommate with my hallmates i'm always surrounded by people which brings me to my next point that it's very, very easy to hang out with friends in college. It requires a lot less planning, but in high school you have to sort of text and figure out who's going to give who a ride, where are you going, what time are you going, um, and what, you, what you're doing. But in college it's just really, really easy to just text someone and be like, hey, want to go walk and meet up for dinner real quick? Because everyone lives pretty close to each other. Another thing is that there's always something to do in college. Every single night of the week I could look on Facebook and see like multiple events that are happening near me every single night of the week, which is so cool And that I could go to like an acapella concert or a comedy improv show or just go hang out with friends, like go see a movie, go downtown, all sorts of things. But in high school I feel like there's limited events and parties and concerts that you can just go to with ease. So that's also another difference. Um, involvement in college is extremely involved. There's a lot to it in both the front end and back end of things. You have to apply or audition for everything that I've gotten involved with in college and sometimes 
after that written application you also have an interview component so it's kind of competitive to get different positions and to even be part of certain groups but in high school you can be sort of more low-key about it it's very easy to join things and sometimes you don't even have to go to all the things that they require which is also kind of weird and a big difference as well another thing in college is that i have found that i'm always surrounded by new people um, I make new friends almost every single week of the semester, which is super cool because I go to like a medium sized school. So I know for smaller colleges, this isn't necessarily the case, but I meet new people all the time. In high school, I graduated with people I've known since I was like five or six years old, people I've known since I was like 11 or 12, etc. So you're with people you've known for years rather than just always being surrounded by new people. Additionally, in college, I feel that I am always around people of my same exact age group or demographic because I only see people on a regular basis that are really like from 18 to like 22. Um, of course, they're like professors and faculty and stuff, but you don't really interact with them nearly as much as you do at home with like parents and with teachers and with younger kids as well. About like halfway through the semester, I realized I hadn't seen someone under the age of 17 in like a really long time, which was sort of weird to think about. Um, in college, another thing is that class size is vary a lot. I have a 500 person chemistry class, 250 person social psychology class, and like an 18 person English class in addition to like my other like medium sized classes. But in high school, all of my classes were 20 to 25 people with really no huge variation at all. And in college, you can have one class be canceled for the day where I have like no English for today, but I still have to go to my other classes. In high school, if class is canceled, that means th the entire school day is canceled, probably due to weather. For me, the transition between high school and college was definitely a little bit difficult. Um, I had the time of my life and enjoyed every single second of it, but I definitely found myself being disappointed in myself for different assignments and grades because I work so hard, but I go to a college where everyone is of like the same like intellectual caliber and works just as hard as I do, and I found it really hard to accept the fact that I was no longer like super, super, I guess, special. Um, but I also take fewer classes in college because I take around five different classes in college But in high school I took eight to nine classes My schedule allowed for eight different blocks and I ended up taking a ninth because like low-key overachiever But at the same time you do have a lot more time invested in each of the credit hours that you take in college Another thing is that the classes in college are, are very, very specific in terms of the subject matter it covers. My English class is about like writing through like digital media, which is very, very specific in, instead of like my English British literature class that covered all of British lit that they could possibly fit into one school year. So that was a huge difference and I find my classes now to be very, very engaging and interesting. Another thing is that if a professor is done with their 50 minute lecture in 30 minutes, they will say, okay guys, like that's all I have, so you can go now, and that's it. In high school, your life is controlled by the bell. If a teacher is finished early, you have to sit there, waste time, twiddle your thumbs, be on your phone or something, waiting for the bell to release you to your next class, which is kind of a difference I never really thought about much. Um, another thing in college is that it you have to make a lot more effort to, to get to know your professors. Um, it's very relatively easy to get to know your teachers in high school. Um, it's just the access is easier. In high school you, ha you have them for the entire class and you interact with them a lot, but in college you have to go to like office hours or that extra review session or something like that. In college, I found that I rely on technology like my laptop a lot more than I did in high school to do my day-to-day -day work. Um, I use Google Docs for basically everything in my life right now. Um, and in high school, I found that I wasn't even allowed to bring my laptop in or to use like a tablet or a laptop in some of my classes. So that was a big difference as well. Another thing is that you have to schedule time in your day to get 
to class from your dorm. In high school, you just kind of walk across the hall or walk down the hall during that five minute period they give you between classes. But I have to schedule in like 15 to 20 minutes sometimes to walk or bus over to whatever building my class is in, which is definitely something that is an adjustment, but you learn pretty quickly how to do that. In college, you also have to pay for your textbooks and for your software that you use in class. I dropped like several hundred dollars for books and materials for my classes just for this semester alone. But in high school, all of that's kind of provided for you. Normally, it's free. Um, that could differ by high school, but at least for me, I didn't have to directly pay for any of those items. In college, you live in a dorm, and in that dorm, you have lots of other people of your age, whether it's a hall style or a suite style dorm. I share my bathroom with almost two dozen girls. There's always people in and out of the hall, slamming dorms, yelling, screaming, giggling, whatever. But at home, I in high school, I really didn't have to deal with that at all. I just lived with my family, and there wasn't a whole lot of yelling and door slamming in the middle of the night um it also doesn't matter to other people if you fail in college um you just become sort of another number uh in high school you get personal attention if you're failing usually the teacher might like seek you out and be like hey you're not doing so well let's talk about how to get you back on track but in college you need to find that help for yourself that's not to say that people don't care but it's just that you have to m let people know that you care and you want to fix the problem in college naps become the norm um I have had many conversations with people where they're like, dude, I took this awesome, really, really good nap today. And I'm like, oh, wow, I'm so happy for you. Can't wait till I nap later. Like, it just becomes a very normal part of life where in high school, naps were more of like a necessity. Like, if you were so sleep deprived, you could not stay awake, you napped, sometimes by accident. Um, in college, you do homework all day, every day, um, between classes, waiting for classes, etc. But in high school, Almost all of your homework is done at night or on weekends. Um, so it's just kind of a weird thing where you sort of are able to spread out your work a lot more than you have in the past. Another thing is that teachers or professors in college are extremely political and are very outright about their own political beliefs and will sometimes infuse that within the class itself. But in high school, at least for me, teachers were not allowed to disclose their own personal political beliefs at all. Like that was a huge no-no. So that was really refreshing to be able to openly talk about that with professors in college. Another thing is that absentee policies can differ a lot by class in college. I can only miss two English classes before my grade will drop a letter grade, but it's not the same in my other classes. And of course, in high school, the absentee policy is the same for all of your classes, no matter what, which is also kind of strange. I hope that this video sort of gave you more insight onto different differences, I guess, between high school and college. And I'll see you next week for another video. Bye, guys.